And we're trying to spread the word. Justin Michaels is live in Destin, Florida, with what you need to know. You know, Justin, I think sometimes people go, oh, well, it's the Gulf. You know, you think of the Atlantic Ocean right. as one that's rough, but the Gulf has been especially dangerous of late. It has been in just the last few weeks. Too many people have died. The red flag warnings have been flying, but people seem to not be heeding those warnings. So the beach patrol here wants to remind people how dangerous these waters can actually be. They are quite literally along this entire stretch of beach going person by person, group by group, reminding people that this is a yellow flag warning day, a medium risk day. And even though you have these turquoise waters, sugar white sands, and seemingly calm Gulf of Mexico, there are dangers and there can be dangers throughout the afternoon, and they can also change on a dime, where they may need to go from a yellow flag to a red flag or a double red flag in a split second. So they offer things like texting services, where if you text BEACH to 44144, you'll get real-time updates on way to stay safe. And it's kind of hard to imagine, but of the 55 people in the United States who have died because of rip currents this year, 25 have been right here in Florida. That means 45% of the deaths from rip currents are just in this one state. Let's talk to Jerrica Vanderford. She is in town from Springfield, Missouri, which is quite a while away. Yeah. So you came to the beach, and you have actually had a hairy situation out there with your mom before. I mean, it, it yeah. can be dangerous. Yeah, it's a little scary. I mean, when the water gets you and you get underneath it and you don't really know what to do, it's a little intimidating. But today it's really nice, and it's not... Not too scary. The right. water seems really calm. So, so Jerrica, as somebody from Missouri, where you're not dealing with rip currents, right? How do you, how have you prepared? I mean, do you pay attention to the flags? What are things that you look for for not being experienced with this kind of water? Sure. Um, I mean, I, I do pay attention to the flags. Um, I definitely, if the waves are bigger, I make sure I can go to where I feel comfortable and I don't push my limits beyond that. Right. Um, and then if I get in a situation where I start to feel like the waves are taking over me then that's when i kind of like step out or like i start to walk away and kind of right. just i don't like to sit in the water uncomfortably right. when i don't think i could do it well tell and we were talking about this but you answered very well on what what you would do if you found yourself in a rip current what what would you do float you're supposed to, so one of the things you're supposed to do is you're supposed to float um just let it take you out get out of the current and then eventually walk to the side away from it um but yeah definitely just float let it get you out of the dangerous parts and then collect yourself and then walk away all right yeah. very good well, you know exactly what to do yeah all right i couldn't afford every year of course yeah you're you're a professional then yeah something like that <laughs> jerica vanderford we're grateful for you thank you so much thank you go back to your beach day of course. thanks thank again all right very good so alex again that's a great answer and again springfield missouri not oh. someone who's dealing with these types of currents on a regular basis but still educated enough to know what to do to pay attention to the flags and do what you're supposed to do to be a responsible citizen to make sure you and other people are staying safe the sad thing is alex so many people get themselves into hairy situations by maybe not heeding the warnings or finding themselves in a tough situation out there and needing to be rescued so it's important to remember those double red flag days alex it's illegal yeah. to be in the water yeah. and then the the dangers get less and less as you go through the flag system but still very important to remember uh, what to do and to make yeah. sure we're paying attention to those flags. Alex and Totally. You. you know, we always say you got to respect water. I know sometimes we look at water as something that's fun and, uh, you know, we enjoy it, but we've also got to respect it. Justin, right. thanks so much. But as Justin pointed out, it's all about knowing what to do ahead of time, right? You don't want to find yourself in the situation and go, oh gosh, what do I do? It's kind of like how we say prepare for tornado warnings. Prepare to, uh, you know, deal with those rip currents. If you get caught in one, just what she said, you're going to float, let it carry.